G'day folks. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a Wednesday lunchtime update, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'm actually home from work for lunch, so I figured I'd get something off my chest I've been thinking about all morning. I checked my email again this morning and someone's flagged the keyboard cleaning one where I melted a Chinese keyboard. Now I'm thinking, first of all, there's only one way these flaggers can attack my videos. They can't DCMA them, like copyright claim because it's not their material, and if they do, all their details will be readily accessible through the Google system um, for YouTube to um, crack down on. Um, so they can't do that. They can't really do much apart from flag videos. So what happens if the video is on another site? Or another server? <laughs> See, I'm thinking maybe... only server I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with is an FTP server. But again, I'm not too sure if I want that on my network at the moment because if I do set that up, it probably wouldn't be hard for them to DOS attack or even hack into and get into the rest of my network. I don't know, does anyone have experience in hosting just files on a server? I don't mind if they're not playable straight from the server. Uh, as far as revenue is concerned, I'm not fussed about that at all because the videos are already dead ducks. So I can't get anything out of them. So, as far as I'm concerned, they can also go... Creative Commons, which I believe allows you to download and edit them, or any anybody to download and edit them, provided they just give a bit of a um, bit of feedback to whoever they came from, like a reference or something. That's all I'd want. I mean, I just want somebody to say, "Hey, I borrowed this from Aussie 50 and then they can post it on whatever website they want, wherever in the world. I mean, these flaggers don't want people watching these videos, and uh, well, my plan of attack is to make these videos the most watched on the web. <laughs> Same with DVDs, that's another option. I mean, it's a bit of a pain to have to mail out DVDs, but I was thinking of maybe some special ones. I think I've even got some videos that I didn't upload simply because I knew they'd be flagged immediately. So I might even do a special edition Ed Systems DVD of Carnage. $15.95 delivered to your door. Well, probably even cheaper, actually. If I can duplicate DVDs quickly and easily with a, like a semi-automatic duplicator or something, hell, I'd be able to virtually give them away. So yeah, what's your thoughts on that one? Um, I've got to race, race off and have lunch and uh, get back to work, but I just thought I'd check on the uh, computer uploads and things, both of which have failed again. But hopefully this one doesn't, because it's not a gig in size. <laughs> I'm having big problems with big files at the moment, like the part 4 to the Fort EB service, that's failed three times. So I'm just going to have to re-encode it, break it up into two or three parts and try again. Because at the moment it was like an 18 minute file and it's just not having it. So anyway, I just thought I'd ramble on a little bit more like I normally do and uh, hope you enjoy things and look forward to more things. I needed some precision brushes, soft brushes recently so I figured the cheapest and easiest way would be to get a cleaning kit for a shotgun. Well, I think it's actually got everything in it. I just opened it before and it's got, mainly the thing I'm after is fine brass brushes and copper brushes just for bushings and material that you'd destroy if you used a steel wire brush. And in the past, the only thing I've done is buy these. Especially working on injection moulding tools where you can't scratch certain surfaces. So you, obviously your steel bottle brush is out of the game and nylon doesn't cut it, so a nice 223 bore brush or something goes straight down those pinholes and doesn't hurt anything. So we'll have a play around with that one later on. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I've got stuff to check out, and I've got to get back to work and do some fabrication and other engineering, so more of the same. It's all good fun, though. Thanks for watching.